Hey guys, Nova Joe here, and today what I want to do is an update video. Recently I posted a video entitled The Easiest Farming Mission in EDF-5 for High Level Weapons, and I have since discovered that there is another mission that is even easier to farm. You don't get as many boxes, uh, you don't get as many uh, armor boxes or weapon boxes as you do on mission 82 as I showed you in the previous video, but you can get weapons that, from what I have read online, uh, from another person who has farmed this level, you can get weapons as high as level 90. At least that's what this person has obtained. And the highest I have ever ob obtained on level 82, or on mission 82, is level 89 weapons. Boy, that's a whole lot of levels and missions I'm throwing out there. So anyway, what I'm going to do here, guys, is a culmination type video where I am going to show you missions 82 and missions 87 which are, in my opinion, the easiest missions to farm for high-level weapons. And not only am I just going to show you those missions, but I'm going to show you how to do them in relative safety and relative ease. Uh, as I showed you in the previous video on Mission 82, I showed you just taking the barga in and just smashing everything. And while that is true for uh, the first three difficulties, that method just really isn't the best for uh, Inferno difficulty. So I'm gonna show you my method of farming level 82 in complete and total safety, and then farming mission 87 in complete and total safety. And the class that I'm gonna use is the one that people probably have the hardest time farming with, and that is the aerator. So I'm gonna show you how to do these missions with the aerator in safety. So let's check it out. Okay guys, to do this mission effectively with the aerator, what you're going to do is have a Zexer gun. So take your highest level Zexer guns and throw them onto the toes of the Barga. Do this quickly before the frogs get here. Get them onto the toes. Now, do not activate them yet. So get behind the toe and just wait for the Barga to activate so you can climb inside of it. And we're waiting and we're waiting for whatever reason it takes a while for this thing to activate and there's been times i've gotten killed here all right it's activated so get inside the barga and take out the frogs first so we're going to get rid of them okay just as soon as you get rid of the frogs exit out of the Barga and activate your machine gun turrets. Now, as you, I don't know if you can tell this or not, but those machine gun turrets are going nuts. And they are making this part of the mission, which is the hardest part, so much easier. Those machine gun turrets are helping you to take out the wave of ants that are coming at you. And these ants are brutal because they spit acid, and that acid just strips the armor right off this Barga. And I have actually failed this mission because of them doing that. Now, as you can see here, if you look at the map, the majority of the ants are dead. And look at that. Those turrets are just going nuts and they stick to your toes and they don't go anywhere. They stay with you throughout this entire battle. Or I mean, they go with you throughout this entire battle. So no matter where you walk, they go with you. Now they will probably run out before all the ants are gone, but they do buy you time and save you on armor. So as you can see, they've run out now, but that's okay. Because now I should be able to take out the remainder of the ants without any problem. Okay, now that you've got rid of the second wave of ants, throw out the vehicle that you brought with you. And then get back inside the barger so you can take out the cosmonauts. As you can see here, I still have about half my armor left, whereas normally the ants would have stripped the majority of it. So as you fight the cosmonauts, what you want to do is make sure to leave one. Don't leave any more than that, just one. Because they have a tendency, the Bargada, or the cosmonauts do, to focus on to focus on the Barga while you are outside of it. So what you want to do is just 
take out all of them except for one and then I'll show you what to do. Okay, now that you've got just one cosmonaut left, you want to, as you can see here, he's firing at somebody else, so don't worry about him. Uh, so go ahead and get inside the vehicle that you have brought with you. And then the whole time he's focusing on the, whatever uh, AI soldiers are left in the Barga, just drive around with your tank and pick up all the boxes. Now, while mission 82 does not net you anything higher that I have seen other than level 89 weapons, those still are the majority of the high level weapons. Plus, it gets you a lot more boxes than the next mission does. However, this mission still is more dangerous than the next one. So you just keep driving around and pick up all the boxes until you've got everything that you want to get. And usually what ends up happening is that the AI soldiers will end up taking out the cosmonaut usually before you finish. But as you can see here, the cosmonaut is focused on the Barga. He's not even looking at me. Now sometimes they will, but don't worry so much about it. He'll, he'll retrain his attention back on the Barga as soon as you're out of range. So just keep driving around, pick up everything. All right, guys, there you go. That is Mission 82, and that is how to farm uh, Mission 82 on Inferno with relative ease. So basically just attach the turrets with the aerator to the toes of the Barga, and he will help you take out the worst part of this mission, which are the ants. And as you can see here, uh, from what I've picked up, there's a level 88. There's several 80, uh, there's several level 80 weapons. And let's see, I was going to see if I had anything higher than that. Uh, but no, level 88 is the highest I've got on this so far. But um, like I mentioned earlier, I have got as high as level 89 on this mission. So, and as you can see here, I have picked up a whole slew of weapon boxes. A whole slew of them. And so that's why mission 82 is one of the best uh, for picking up high level weapons. You get a whole lot more boxes on this mission. All right, guys, next up, what I'm going to do is show you the next mission uh, to farm, which is by leaps and bounds, a lot easier to farm than mission 82 in regards to uh, your own safety. However, you, you do get weapons that will go higher than level 89 but you don't get as many boxes. So I think the most I've ever really seen is like eight or nine boxes in regards to weapons. And obviously that's random, but usually it's like eight or nine weapon boxes. So, but it's, it's still a good mission to farm because it's safe. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, what you wanna do is get the aerator. As I said, once again, that seems to be the hardest character class for people to farm with. And so I'm going to show you how to farm with him on mission 87. And what you want to do is once again, take in your, your turrets. You want turrets. So whichever your highest level turrets that you got, your Zexer gun. Um, and in my case, I got the FZ gun MX, which is a flamethrower. And I'm going to show you uh, how to do this. And honestly, guys, it's just kind of like a sit back and let it do its thing type mission. So let's get into it. Okay guys, right off the bat, you're gonna to wanna to go to the right. Normally I would tell you to try to take out those fencers up there so that they won't kill as many of the pill bugs, but with the aerator, you don't have time for that because you don't have any way to get to this uh, waterfall any quicker uh, with the aerator. So you just gotta roll your way there as quickly as possible. So basically take off rolling as fast as you can and you wanna to head towards that waterfall in the distance. So just keep on going. Okay guys, there's the waterfall. Now where you want to go is over here to the right behind these rocks. You want to position yourself in this crevice right here. So you just go back in here and press yourself up against this back wall and throw your turrets onto the rock right in front of you. Go ahead and throw out all three of them. And then we will wait for the pill bugs to arrive. Okay, guys, the pill bugs are here. So activate your turrets. And there they go. You stay back in this corner, and the pill bugs will not bother you, and your machine gun turrets will not shoot you. And I have done this on repeated occasions, just backed up here, let my machine gun turrets go to town, 
and they have never once ever shot me and they just absolutely devastate those pill bugs so we're going to let them run their course here and while they're running their course you're going to want to flip over to your next set of turrets go ahead and throw them on out and the reason I say throw them out now is because if by chance you wait until your machine gun turrets run out and a pill bug squeezes himself into this corner what ends up happening is you'll throw your turret and it'll stick to the pill bug and then when you activate your turret your turret will go wherever the pill bug goes and when the pill bug dies your turret dies with it so as you can see my machine gun turrets just ran out so I have now activated my flame turrets and they are just laying waste to the remainder of them and so what you want to do is just continue doing this so when the flame turrets run out throw out your Zexer guns again or whichever ones you have like I said it doesn't matter just as long as you have some turrets and just rinse and repeat all right guys and once the waves are done you just go on out pick up your boxes and that is how you do this mission you just do it as in that exact same manner just keep those Zexer guns basically keep those turret weapons just a flowing and you will pass this level with no problem at all all right guys that is it that is how you farm missions 82 and missions 87 with the air raider in relative safety and this is the easiest method i've seen so far so all right guys hope you've enjoyed this video as always take care god bless and keep on gaming <laughs>